Microsoft is working on an AI called Jarvis, named after Iron Man's personal AI. To create Jarvis, they have proposed a novel approach called Hugging GPT, which is what I will discuss with you today. In this paper, Microsoft researchers connected ChatGPT to other AI models in the Hugging Face library. For those of you who don't know, Hugging Face library is a huge library with many AI models to do different tasks like image generation, object detection, pose detection, text to video, etc. Let's see how this proposed architecture of Hugging GPT works. The concept is fairly simple. You ask ChatGPT to do something and it will take help from other AI models as needed. As a language model, it will understand your task and make a plan of subtasks that need to be done. Then according to the subtask, it will take help from another AI model and finally give you the final result. This is best understood by an example. Here we ask ChatGPT to generate an image of a girl reading a book. But we specify that her pose must be similar to the pose of the boy in the input picture we are giving. ChatGPT figures it out that it must first find the pose of the boy using a pose detection AI. Then it can generate a new image using an image generation AI. This is another example. This combines common elements in two images. We have a basketball player throwing the ball in the basket. And we have a little boy riding the uh, bicycle. So the result we get is, A draws a boy with a raised hand, like the hand of the basketball player, and riding a bike with a basket. Quite interesting, right? Let's move on to more examples. Chat GPT by itself cannot generate text to video. This is a limitation. But what if it takes help from other AIs in the hugging face? If we let Chat GPT communicate with other AIs, we can get it to create videos from text. Here it understands the prompt by the human user and conveys it to another text to video AI and gives us the result. All this is amazing. What about the limitation? The major bottleneck we currently face is the LLM itself. LLMs are language models which understand our request. ChatGPT is a LLM. So in this understanding, there is a response latency. Sometimes the model takes too long to understand what we mean. Sometimes it does not understand what we mean at all. Sometimes it gets it, uh, gets it wrong. There is also a limitation of context memory. Context memory refers to how far the model remembers our conversation. So chat GPT free version, as you must know, does not remember details that are much uh, earlier in the conversation. These limitations should go away as LLMs grow more accurate and we get better hardware. GPT-4 is already much better than simple chat GPT at understanding user queries. It also has a larger context length of about 24,000 words. So why I am so excited about this? I am excited because this presents a very tantalizing prospect of a collaborative AI, right? We could create specialized AIs that work in conjunction for improved outcomes. A central LLM would control these AIs. It will communicate with us. It will excel at understanding human requests, but it doesn't have to do great at other tasks, right? It can have weaknesses and those weaknesses can be overcome by its AI friends. 